Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Whiteboard Weather on this Monday afternoon. What have we got? The 27th day of July. Sun goes down this evening at 840. And the average high is 82. Good tunes in the background. Good Brother Earl singing one of their original songs, Fighting Gravity. If you've never listened to Good Brother Earl, I highly recommend. And they are the authors of the Whiteboard Weather theme song as well. So, always got a lot of love in my heart for Good Brother Earl. And my buddy Jeff Schmutz, the lead singer. And one of the creative influences behind the band. Anyway, I digress. Hope you're having a great Monday, everyone. As expected, it is warm and steamy outside. Temperatures right around 90 degrees and dew points right around 70 degrees. And that is what was expected by moi uh, yesterday and even uh, this morning. So um, this will be our 12th 90 degree day of the month of July and our final 90 degree day of the month of July because starting tomorrow through uh, the end of the month, which is the end of the week, uh, temperatures are going to be cooler and it will be gradually turning less humid as well. For the season, we have 13 90 plus degree days. So um, it has been a warm summer, certainly to say the least. The average high in July is 88 degrees in the uh, for this month. And the average, according to climatology, should be around 83. So we're almost, at least in terms of afternoon temperatures, 5 to 6 degrees uh, of average. Pirates have their home opener tonight, scheduled 7.05 at PNC Park. I do think the weather will cooperate, although uh, there are some hit-miss showers. Mostly have developed north of Interstate 80. Uh, nothing happened locally, happening locally, but... Uh, there could be a few around as we head toward early evening, which we'll discuss in just a couple of moments. Before we get to that, let's get to this. It is Monday afternoon, and our sponsor each and every Monday afternoon are the fine folks from Wetco at Getco, and they're offering an unlimited car wash program. Wash as often as you like. Literally, it is unlimited for one low monthly price. It's available at all 40 plus Wetco locations across the region. It's very simple and easy to sign up. You do it online, you go to the Wetco, pick up your tag, and then you're good to go. You just scan it and you drive right on through the car wash. No, no contract is required. You can cancel at any time. And if you buy an unlimited wash program now through August the 4th, so time is running out, when you buy your first month, you get the second month absolutely free, which means the $14.99 a month unlimited wash plan, you get $14.99 and you get two months of unlimited washes for one low price. So check it out. They are Wetco at GetGo. Let us now check out some current temperatures across the area. As I said, temperatures hovering right around 90 degrees um, 90 right now, Newcastle, same in Butler and Pittsburgh, 90 Indiana, 90 in Latrobe, and not far behind in Washington. Those dew points, which is the DP column, 69 to 72 is where our dew point is setting up right now. And a bit breezy coming in. The winds are out of the west southwest at about 15 miles an hour or so. While it is hot and humid, the wind does help a little bit. That breeze blowing through does help to keep things just a tad cooler outside. Let's quickly run through the surface map. We do have a cold front back up across the lower lakes. That front will be moving into and through the area tonight. That'll be the catalyst for some scattered showers, maybe a few heavier downpours of rain. Tomorrow morning, the front will be cutting through the area. And by tomorrow afternoon, this is about six o'clock, seven o'clock tomorrow evening, the front will be settling down to the south, which will allow some cooler and less humid conditions to start taking shape by the end of the day tomorrow and through the middle part 
of the week. A quick look ahead at the first few days of August. You know, August the 1st is this Saturday. This is August 1st through the 5th. This is something we haven't seen so much. You see that big B? That's below normal temperatures across the middle part of the country. And that near to below normal temperature setup continues all the way up and through our neck of the woods. So it looks like uh, the really hot air is going to take a little bit of a break for probably an extended period of time, a week to 10 days. We'll have temperatures near or maybe even slightly below average. So as I said, today, uh, likely our last 90 degree day, not only for the month, but probably for the next week to 10 days. Uh, I want to show you radar very quickly. This is the way it looks on radar right now. As I said, nothing happened locally, but you get near north of I-80, Mercer, Vidango County, some showers and thunderstorms moving from west to east in those locations. Those are not going to head in our direction, but we do have to watch for any development further south as we head through the late afternoon and early evening time frame. So something to keep the heads up on uh, over the course of the next several hours. Uh, let us hit up some birthdays today. If you or someone you know is celebrating, Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod, as he's known in the world of baseball, a former Major League player, now broadcaster, his birthday today. Fans of the WWE know who Triple H is. He's got a birthday today. So does PGA golfer Jordan Spieth and actress and comedian Maya Rudolph. It's National Scotch Day today, National Creme Brulee Day today, and National Love is Kind Day today as well. Uh, so those are your national days for today. All right, let us hit up the whiteboard. It is simply accurate. It's no hype. And hopefully you know by now it is the best in the Berg, as voted by you and many other Pittsburghers for the second year in a row. Here it is, the whiteboard for a Monday afternoon brought to you by WetGo at GetGo. Again, check out that unlimited wash program. And a reminder, if you haven't seen the post yet, week number four of the Great Car Wash Giveaway is now underway. So, Check out the post I made earlier today. Get in your photo, tag a friend, and get eligible to win week number four and get into the final four for unlimited car washes at WetGo for an entire year. Sunset tonight, 840. The moon phase is in a first quarter, so that should be a good uh, look tonight. It was a pretty nice moon last night as I saw it driving home from WTAE. Main storm threats. This evening, and if a couple showers pop tomorrow, will be for downpours of rain. And here's an impressive stretch. We've had 33 straight days at or above 80 degrees. The last day we had that it did not hit 80 degrees was back on June the 24th. Uh, so, and I do expect, based on the forecast, we're going to go the entire month of July 80 or better. It's an impressive stretch. Muggy with clouds tonight. A few showers. Again, be on the lookout for some heavier downpours of rain in a few spots. Tomorrow, cold front will be passing through the area. Clouds and then some breaks of afternoon sunshine. Cannot rule out a shower or two. I think as the day goes on tomorrow, the shower threat will start shifting south and east as you head over toward the lower highlands and down toward Garrett County, Maryland. So, if you probably don't get a shower by noon, uh, chances are you probably won't get one, and that'll be the case probably through the rest of the week. Tomorrow night, skies clear out nicely, 63, starts to turn less humid. On Wednesday, I'm going to call it pleasant with lots of sunshine, 84, the high temperature. Thursday, 83, partly sunny skies, and looking ahead to the end of the week and the weekend, the last day of July. Friday, 85, clouds and sunshine, and August the 1st on Saturday, also 85, with mostly sunny skies. So that is a look at your whiteboard for Monday. If you don't get a shower tonight or probably before noon tomorrow, 
there's a low, low, low chance that you're going to see anything the rest of the week. So there you go. That's the information that you need to know. And you got it all simply accurate and no hype um, as always. Uh, so that's what I have for you today. Good luck to our Buccos tonight in the home opener, 705 PNC Park against uh, the Brewers. And uh, don't forget to share Whiteboard Weather with your Facebook friends. The more you share, the more people can join us each and every day. We want to continue uh, to get the word out on the street uh, about Whiteboard Weather. I know a lot of people know about it. We want even more. And the way that happens is by having you share. Thanks for the stars today. As always, I appreciate it. Let's listen to some good brother Earl on the way out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay cool. Peace.